Hi everyone, this is Grace from Yeser Chemicals and welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, we'll explore surfactants, the essential ingredient in cleaning and personal care products. So we'll cover the four main types, which is anionic, cationic, non-ionic, and amphoteric surfactants, each with unique properties. Whether for powerful cleaning or gentle care, surfactants play a key role in product performance. At Yeser Chemicals, we produce and offer a wide range of coconut-derived green surfactants such as CAPB, CDEA, CMEA, EGDS, and so on. By self-manufacturing and third-party tall manufacturing, we provide a long list of safe ingredients used in home and fabric care, personal care, and cosmetics. Surfactants or surface active agents are compounds that lower the surface tension between two substances, such as liquid and a solid, or two immiscible liquids such as oil and water. They are commonly used in cleaning products, detergents, personal care items, and various industrial applications. Surfactants can be classified into four main types based on their ionic or electric charge characteristics in water. Anionic surfactant Anionic surfactants have a negatively charged hydrophilic or water-attracting head. They are effective in removing dirt, grease, and oily stains, making them popular in laundry detergents and dishwashing liquids. Also, they tend to produce a lot of foam. Examples are SLS or sodium laurel sulfate, which is commonly used in shampoos, body washes, and toothpaste. Next is sodium laureate sulfate or SLES a milder version of SLS, often found in personal care products. Next is linear alkyl benzyl sulfonates, or LAS. This is widely used in laundry detergents and household cleaners. Next is alpha olefin sulfonate, or AOS. This is used in shampoos, body washes, and dishwashing liquids for its good foaming properties and mildness. Cationic surfactants. Cationic surfactants have a positively charged hydrophilic head. They are often used as conditioning agents in hair care products because they can bind to the negatively charged surfaces of hair and skin, providing a softening effect. They also have antibacterial properties, making them useful in disinfectant and fabric softeners. Examples are Cetyl Trimethyl Ammonium Chloride or CTAC. This is used in conditioners and hair treatments for detangling and conditioning. Next is Benzalconium Chloride or BAC. This is used in disinfectants, antiseptics, and preservatives in personal care products. Next is Sterilconium Chloride, commonly used in hair conditioners and lotion. Non-ionic surfactants. So non-ionic surfactants do not carry any charge, which makes them less likely to cause skin irritation and more stable in hard water compared to ionic surfactants. They are effective in removing oily soils and are commonly used in cosmetics, skin cleansers, and household cleaners. Examples are polysorbates such as polysorbate 20, polysorbate 80, which are used as emulsifiers and solubilizers in creams, lotions, and shampoos. Next is alkyl polyglucosides or APG, such as desyl glucoside and laurel glucoside. This is derived from natural sources like glucose and coconut oil. This is used in mild and eco-friendly cleansers. Next is ethoxylated alcohols, such as Tetaret 20 or Esteris 20, commonly found in lotions and cleansers as emulsifiers and solubilizers. Amphoteric surfactants. Amphoteric surfactants have both positive and negative charge depending on the pH of the solution. It can act as an ionic or cationic surfactants depending on the pH of the solution. They are mild and less irritating, making them suitable for use in baby products, shampoos, and facial cleansers. They have good foaming properties and are often used to stabilize foam. Examples are Cocamidopropyl betaine or CAPB, which is widely used in shampoos, body washes, and facial cleansers for its mildness and foam boosting properties. Next is Laurel betaine, which is used in personal care products for its ability to enhance foam and reduce skin irritation. Last example is sodium cocoampoacetate, which is often used in mild and sulfate-free formulations like baby shampoos and facial cleansers. By selecting the appropriate surfactant type, 
Formulators can tailor the product's cleansing effectiveness, skin feel, foaming characteristics, and mildness to suit different skin types and applications.